uh, I want to talk about a really important topic, and that is knowing what you're going to earn in Unify. Uh, I find it very difficult to hit a goal without knowing exactly what that goal is and how I'm going to accomplish it. Now, before we move on from there, understand that I may begin on a journey before I know that, and I take a lot of action. It is the action that I take that allows me to narrow and hone in and narrow in on exactly what I'm going to make, I decide in my mind, and how I'm going to do it, to know exactly how I'm going to do it. You can't wait to know exactly the answers to these two questions before taking action. You take action with a basic idea, a general idea of what you're going to accomplish, but you keep thinking about it. You keep taking action. The action you take gives you information back about what is a reasonable expectation or what you need to adjust to hit certain benchmarks or goals that you have. You adjust both, 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 both until they're both on the same track. Very important. So we're going to talk about the compensation plan, but in a different context than usual. I want to make sure you guys really, really understand it. Because if you don't, I find it very difficult to believe you're going to be able to maximize it. But if you do understand it, that's the first major step in being able to choose how you're going to maximize it. To get whatever it is in monthly income you choose to get. So we're going to talk about it in that context. Within that is understanding deeply, deeply the difference between a self-employed mindset an employer, or I'm sorry, an employee mindset, a salesperson's mindset versus a business owner's mindset. If you don't fully grasp the business owner's mindset, and really to break that down, business system owner, and you're fuzzy on that, or you get it when we talk about it, or when you watch a presentation, but then you forget and you shift back into one of the other mindsets, you will not be able to maximize the compensation structure and create the income and the lifestyle that you really otherwise could. So while I go over the comp plan, I'm also going to be reinforcing clarity, getting clarity on exactly what the difference is between these different mindsets. And if you've heard me cover Robert Kiyosaki's cash flow quadrant before, which gets into some of this, you'll notice a difference. He doesn't talk about the sales person's mindset, and I think we need to bring that into the fold as well. So before I go over the comp plan, within the context of you understanding it clearly enough so that you can literally write your own check because you have clarity, before I get into covering it from that perspective, which is so important if you're going to hit amazing goals here quickly, let me talk about the different mindsets, even if this is somewhat redundant, it's so important. It's so important. Uh, one of the mindsets I just mentioned is a salesperson's mindset. By the way, this is so important to be able to articulate. Like when you connect with prospects, you should be in this frame. You should be in the frame of identifying which mindset are they operating out of. If that's your chief goal, which it should be, then you know what questions to ask. Or if they say something, you know much better how to respond. And because you have clarity in what you're trying to learn, like in this case, their mindset, they sense that and they feel that you can lead them to clarity. So part of this isn't just you being able to have clarity on choosing what you're going to make because you understand the compensation plan, you understand which mindset you need to have to, to accomplish this, you understand how you're going to do it. It's not just you arriving at clarity. This is also you being able to help your prospects arrive at clarity. Because when you can do that, that's when you become incredibly attractive to your prospects. And you have so much more confidence. So understand this is really important stuff, not just to consider for yourself, but to listen to this a few times and begin practicing communicating this and identifying from your prospects by email, by Facebook message, even questions you might ask or post in a social media platform or a forum group or whatever. Uh, 
this changes everything when you have clarity on this, not only for yourself, but your ability to guide others, which is attractive, you're gonna guide, you're gonna attract higher quality people, people that are ready to get busy and, and build and produce results because they have clarity because you help guide them there. And again, people who are desiring clarity so they can take action and create results are gonna be attracted to the person who is not only able to understand what I'm sharing, but can articulate it in their own way as well. So you gotta practice that and ask questions to your prospect to identify some of these things in them. Okay, so the first question to you that I want you to learn to ask in your own way, and you might have to ask a, million, a number of questions to arrive at the answer to your prospects and to your team, if you have a team right now, you should meet with them and have this conversation until there's clarity. So the first question to get clarity on is, what mindset are you operating out of right now? What do you have a tendency to operate out of? Is it the employee mindset where you're trading time for money? I'm going to say that again because it's, I know some of this is going to be kind of redundant and slow for some of you, but still it's important until you've mastered communicating this and mastered the whole concept well enough that you can immediately connect with prospects and, and teams, your team and downline and, and ask these questions. So I'm going to be really repetitive for a reason. Are you of the employee mindset or do you lean towards the employee mindset? Do you drift that way when you're not paying attention throughout the day, um, which is trading time for money? Like, are you just not comfortable really when you put a bunch of effort into something and i know this is a lot of you guys even if you're good at at if you've trained yourself and and you understand conceptually the advantage of a business system even if you're there i know because i have worked through it myself that that most of the time even if you're kind of there and understand these things you will drift to one of these other mindsets when you're not paying attention and you need to pay attention so again, you know that you lean towards the employee mindset if you get frustrated when you put in a hard day's work or a week's work and you don't have money coming in. Or you have a lot of fear around not being able to produce a certain result. Like you're not sure, when am I gonna be able to make a certain amount of money? Most of you lean towards the employee mindset or the self-employed mindset, which is very similar. We can just wrap those together. They are separate in many ways. A self-employed person is going to be more independent, more strong, uh, a little more stubborn. Uh, I think in many ways positively, but you know, more set in their ways. They don't, you know, there's going to be differences between the mindsets of a self-employed and an employee. But there's a major similarity in terms of they're used to putting in time and getting something back uh, fairly soon. So, for example, if, if you're self-employed and you sell, um, you sell smoothies at a food cart near a college, you're used to seeing the students come during this, you know, break between classes and purchase, and you kind of can start to quickly, within even your first week, expect some money coming in. You see the transactions, and a lot of times a self-employed person, if they don't see results quickly enough, they're out of there. They're selling that food cart, and they're on to another business. So there's similarities between that and the employee in terms of you show up, you expect money coming in. Uh, the difference again between self-employed and employee is simply that a self-employed person will have delayed gratification, will put in some of their own money and investment first. So there's elements of the business system owner, which is what we really want mindset uh, for a self-employed person. There's elements of it, but but they still are expecting that if they put time into something, they see some money coming in or they start to panic. Okay. Then there's the salesperson. And the salesperson is expecting not necessarily to get paid for their time per se. They're thinking, though, to get paid per sale. And so if they go sell a car or they sell a house, if they're in real estate or whatever it is, they want commission now and it needs to be pretty sizable. They don't want to delay anything 
on top of whatever you know delay there was to get the sale. They're already putting in time and energy, not getting sales, working, talking to prospects, showing people cars, showing people whatever it is they're selling. They expect not to necessarily get paid. Sometimes there's a, a base salary that they need. There's a little bit of an employee mindset wrapped up into that. But ultimately, someone on a strict commission is used to putting in effort. There's a delayed gratification there. But if they make the sale, they want a high percentage. Problem with that mindset, they'll never make huge money They'll always just be a salesperson because there's no leverage. There's no exp opportunity for exponential leverage. So we've got the employee trading time for money straight up, not willing to put in any investment or anything. It's a you know very strict trade time for money or I'm not working mindset, can't build wealth there. Then there's the self-employed mindset, which is very similar to the employee mindset because if they're putting in energy and time they expect money to be coming in for what their their business is selling um but they're will but the difference is they're willing to put some investment up they're willing to put some effort out um, and have some delayed gratification but not much they're not willing to have too much delayed gratification to actually build something huge if they're self-employed typically unless they have the business system owner mindset which is well and then the third one obviously what that i just ran through was the salesperson who wants to make high enough commissions per sale to make it feel like it's worth their while. A business system owner thinks very differently. That, that you know, Some of the famous ones are Jeff, uh, Jeff Bezos is how he pronounces his name. Some people say Bezos, but it's Bezos according to him. And, uh, and Steve Jobs and, and all the big names, Elon Musk, they build giant organizations. Now, typically, a business system owner is involved or a part of a team in a corporation or a company that is responsible for developing the product, managing the customer support, uh, bringing the product to market, the whole thing. Now, they, they might hire a team or network with a group of people to make that happen, but all of that, they're really relying on that happening within either their direct management or if they're bringing really high value, like maybe the product management, they get shares and stuff, over a long period of time, there's gonna be this delayed gratification, this massive delayed gratification to build something and take it to market, and then money starts coming in, and most of that money, like you think of Jeff Bezos, for example, most of the money coming in for Amazon in the early years, all of that went right back out, and that was okay, that's the way it works, that's the way a business owner thinks. They're putting something in place so that eventually, they could walk away, have walk away income, or have so much wealth that they acquired after many, many years of that, uh, as, after it grows large, huge, in or terms of their, the size of the organization, they have freedom, uh, you know, they live the beautiful life. And then there's business system owners, uh, like uh, franchise owners, same kind of concept in terms of they're setting up a system, usually it's a high entry cost, but they're setting up a system that they can walk away from uh, and the employees and everyone running it, it works like clockwork. But of course, that's hard to set up. That's hard to create. But that's what like Ray Kroc, who came in and bought out McDonald's, set up. He saw a nice system at McDonald's and he took it to a whole other level and systematizing it and was able to have massive leverage through a business system. But building a huge network, a huge network of distribution that's selling products or services, massive numbers. Uh, again, not, they're not thinking in terms of, hey, if I sell this product, I make a commission. Yay. End of, you know, end of story. That's a salesperson mindset. They're not thinking, I'm going to go to work and I'm going to get a check. No opportunity for leverage, no delayed gratification. No. And the business owner is not, business system owner or business owner is not thinking, uh, I'm going to, you know, pull up my food cart. I'm going to mess, invest in the food cart. I'm going to invest my time, but I expect to start selling some burritos at the uh, call it near the college campus, or uh, or maybe selling, um, maybe op opening up a butcher shop, and expecting you know it might take a little while to get the customers in, but expecting that in a certain amount of time they're going to start to have customers that help to at least break even and then build it from there. No concept for leverage in those models. No concept for building an organization that. Uh, can pay even if you walk away from that store or walk away from that or provide exponential massive returns to create an extraordinary lifestyle if that's someone's goal. So the business owner is either looking at free time with money coming in through leveraging a large organization of growth 
or they're looking at massive wealth and an amazing lifestyle through leveraging the exponential growth that can come from a distribution organization. In your own words, in your own way, it's important that you, you learn to articulate and understand these concepts well enough to articulate in your own way with your own personality these different mindsets. To pay attention to where your mindset's at, but also to be able to articulate to your team these things. Also be able to articulate to your prospects these things. Um, you could do it in your own way, guys, but and, and you all have the capacity to do it, to be able to articulate this in your own way, in simple terms, in your way, probably simpler than I do. And relating to an audience, a certain audience, even better than I do, some of these concepts. But you have to try. Like, you have to actually start articulating these things. Uh, and, and then you start to have to ask yourself, which mindset do I lean towards? Some of you have, have sales experience. You're used to making higher commissions when you make a sale right away. But you'll never have leverage. The compensation plan that I'm going to go over here again, uh, in a network mar a good network marketing compensation plan, it, to, it doesn't pay that all the commissions that it pays out on the sale of a product to the person selling it. If it did, that would be end of story. You'd never have leverage. You'd never have a business system. You'd never have walkaway income. You'd never be able to leverage exponential growth like Jeff Bezos did. You'd never be able to do anything too extraordinary. You'd always only get paid when you made a sale. I don't want that. We're looking for people with a different mindset than a salesperson mindset. But you have to be able to articulate this stuff because you might get somebody's like, well, that's all I make. I only make $60 when I sell that. I'm used to making like 50% commission or whatever it is. You have to be able to explain this to find out once they understand how it really works, what do they really want? Do they really want to just be selling their whole life and making a commission and that's their job or, you know, or that's their profession, uh, jumping around from selling different things? Or do they want to be able to develop a distribution network that allows them to develop a, a free time and, and a special lifestyle? You have to be able to have these conversations, and you can. You absolutely can. And it starts with having it with yourself and deciding, okay, where do I come from? Where, where's my thinking? And make sure that you're operating out of the business system mindset. Okay. So I might ask questions when I'm talking to a prospect, when I'm trying to identify which mindset do they lean on, I might ask questions like, you know, so what's your experience? What have you done for professions? And if they were in sales a lot, then I know that this could be an issue. And then I would have this conversation and say, okay, so uh, if you've been in sales, you know, you're probably used to getting paid a pretty good commission so you could support yourself selling whatever you were selling. This is a little bit different. So that's how I might open up that discussion. And through that discussion, I'm determining. I'm not trying to sell them on the idea. I just want to make sure they understand it and then they can make a choice. So it's always permission-based marketing. It's always permi a permission-based conversation. I'm not going to try to convince someone that developing a distribution network and being able to develop residual income in a distribution sales organization and live a special life uh, is what they want. I just want to make sure they understand it. I want to do my job to make sure people understand it so they can make a choice. So then you're sorting and you're not selling. You're sorting through your prospects. You're also so much more attractive to your prospects because the right people see you as very valuable because you've thought about these things. You're able to articulate these things. You're, help, you're able to help them see these things. That has value. Uh, okay. So that's one thing. that We need to remember this compensation plan is all about building leverage, being able to build a distribution network. But here's the cool thing. Without having to develop the product, without having to develop the services, without having to develop the you know, hire the employees and the expertise to be able to develop the products and services, develop a complicated, complex website, an order processing solution, without being able to you know have to uh, deal with the legal department um, and all of those issues. The, you know, I think I said the customer support department. I um, mean, all the intricacies. Um, you only have to bring the marketing aspect, the network marketing aspect, if you want to, to have it be completely free or to apply marketing in other ways like I'm helping you guys do, but to build the distribution network to help the company get to educate the, 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 the population about what's available. And if you're in the right place at the right time, if you're in a growing, exploding industry, if the company's young and you're helping provide value to like you guys are here right now early with this company in a developing market by, you know, yeah, incredibly so uh, with cryptocurrency, helping people solve a, a problem that many companies have not been able to solve and aren't even trying, which is help people take control, teaching people, empowering people to take control of their, of their money and, and to be able to grow and protect their money and be a player in that instead of like a victim of the economy. Powerful stuff. Uh, so they, they, this allows you to build a distribution network selling financial resource products with Unify, 
and you are treated and compensated for doing that you know, by helping get three, who get three, who get three, who get three, building a giant distribution network, you get compensated like a business owner and you have walk away income. But again, you're not paid a huge commission up front because that wouldn't give you walk away income. That's why there's this more complicated compensation plan because it allows you to be able to have walk away income. It's breaking up the compensation through many levels. It's allowing you to be incentivized, allowing me to have calls like this. If I was just a salesperson, there'd be no point for me to empower you to see these things, to learn how to communicate like a business owner. Uh, so it's a beautiful, beautiful model when the th right things are in place. It's important to be able to understand that and articulate it. Okay, so let's look at the referral bonus. So within all of that context, and, and I want you to be able to explain this to people. It's, it's okay, well, let me back up. So there's the referral bonus, the matrix bonus, the matching bonus. Remember, the, I started this call by talking about, or this video by talking about how you need to know how much you're going to make and how to maximize this compensation plan to make it, and you know how you're going to do it. Now, you might not know all of that at the end of this video. Your first step is to understand everything I'm covering, to be able to articulate what I'm covering in your own way, in your own way. We'll keep working on that, uh, and then be able to zoom in and say you know what mike here's what i want to accomplish here's what it's going to take in the compensation plan to accomplish it um and now let's just talk about how like okay i'm gonna i got a budget for ads um i'm gonna i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that if something's not working it's not getting you there you adjust it that's what a business owner does they don't give up easy like they set in their mind what they're going to do you just you know where you're going you know how you're going to maximize the plan to do it you keep figuring that out narrowing it down narrowing it down you start getting results if you keep going you absolutely will and then you hone in on your process and then boom, it's just, then it's Eureka. Um, that's why a lot of people uh, compare this kind of a business model to uh, growing a bamboo plant. For many, many years, when you plant a bamboo seed, you have to water it, take care of it, make sure it has the right conditions and it doesn't sprout. And uh, people joke about it, say people, you know, your neighbor might come around and, and start making fun of you. Like, what are you doing? You're growing a bamboo plant, I don't see anything. You see you're out here every day, you know? And a year later, the same thing, they're laughing at you. You know, but once that, that bamboo sprout pops up over the, the, the soil, it sprouts up like in 20 days, it becomes like 20 feet or something crazy. So did it take four years or did it take five years for that bamboo plant to grow? Well, it took the full, you know, uh, five years, even if four of them, you know, to a huge, huge plant, it, it, most of the years it wasn't even seen. It's the same thing with your business. You are cultivating putting it together even right now this is an investment of nurturing your vision obviously listening to this video is going to create a massive result but once you have these concepts and then you're going to practice articulating them then you're going to start to focus in on okay exactly what do i want to make out of this and you, all of that is time you're spending like watering the bamboo seed and you don't see a big result that's how business owners operate but once you have it all figured out and then you start doing your prospecting and you start doing your, your marketing and you start getting results and you're honing in, all of a sudden, bam, 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 the cylinders start firing and now the organization grows because you're not having to think about these kinds of things anymore. You're actually doing the actions that make it grow. But you do still need to do this part. You need to understand what I'm covering here. You need to be able to articulate it. Uh, you need to be able to ask your prospects quality questions to identify what mindset are they in. When you hear that they're in a self-employed mindset or an employee mindset or there's a risk of it because that's been their experience, you need to be able to break down the difference between this and clearly show them the advantages of having a business system owner mindset and have delayed gratification and to be able to have the ability to partner with a company that's helping you with the product, that's helping you with the, the website development, the employees that's investing into all of this and sharing a big, huge part of the uh, uh, of the proceeds with you to build a distribution network to be able to share in the magnificent rewards of a business owner without all the incredible expenses and overhead and risk and skills usually needed. It's a beautiful concept and you want to be able to share that with people. Once you get to the point where you can, you'll be unstoppable and it's not going to take you long to get from here to there if you make it your goal. Okay, so you've got the referral bonus, you've got the matrix bonus, you've got the matching bonus. You have these three bonuses. I want you to be able to understand these and be able to articulate them. Even though we'll have systems that do it for you guys, you're going to be in a whole other level when you understand it. Again, don't wait to take action until you understand it. 
we have systems and presentations and everything, and we keep improving those in the funnel to explain this for you. But in the meantime, listen to these kinds of presentations, practice when you're engaging with prospects and talking to your team, be able to get to the point where you can articulate it, and now you become a leader that people are seeking out, being just yourself, because you understand the concepts and that makes you valuable. Okay, so referral bonus pays seven levels now. Used to pay five, now pays seven levels. Absolutely incredible uh, structure. This is this one, this referral bonus. That's what it's called, a referral bonus. Remember, this is the first one. This is paying out of the $279.95. The matrix bonus, which I'll go over later, the matrix bonus is paying out of the monthly fee. $79.95. But right now I want to talk about the referral bonus. It's paying out of the $279.95. And it pays $60 on the people you bring in that pay $279.95. They're paying $279.95 for what? To get access to Unified's resources, their financial resource products. There's a one-time fee of $279.95. You get paid $60 of that. Another $20 of that $279.95 goes to uh, the second level. So if somebody you bring in refers somebody, you're gonna get $20 on that. And if somebody they refer, uh, bring somebody to Unify to, to access the financial resource products and resources, you're gonna get $20 on that. And that's gonna continue on down. If they refer somebody, if they refer somebody, if they refer somebody, if they refer somebody on the seventh level, you get $30. So that's all coming out of the $279.95. So $190 is paid out in commissions on the $279.95. You wouldn't want Unify to pay out any more than that because they need enough money to keep investing in more products and development, into customer support and expansion, um, into legal stuff. Like you want them to have enough to be healthy. They are maximizing what they can pay out from that $279.95 and still be viable. If you find a company or an opportunity out there that's paying out a lot more than this, you know that it's probably a scam because you can't run a company providing any real value, paying out too much more than what they are. In fact, this is industry-wide extremely high. They're being very generous. Now, they could have, again, going back to the salesperson mindset, and I want, I'm explaining these things and being redundant because I want you to be able to articulate these things and to be able to identify when you're talking to a prospect who has sales skills but isn't, doesn't have the mindset of a business owner yet so you can guide them and lead them. And I want you to be able to understand these things deeply so you can ask really good quality questions to identify where somebody's at. I want you to be confident and competent and unstoppable. So that's why I'm being redundant on these things. It's so important. If you really want to own your future and seize this opportunity that you take the time, you know, to be able to truly own and understand these things in a deep way. So I really encourage you to be, let, allow me to be redundant for you here and allow yourself to receive it fully. Uh, the company, if they had designed this for salespeople, would have paid the $190 on level one and that's it. That would have been the end of it. Again, they're paying $190. Let me make sure that's right. 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, yeah, 190. They're paying $190 throughout seven levels. They call them generations. So again, you refer somebody, you got 60. They refer somebody, you get 20. That person refers somebody, another 20, you get another 20. And you know, on down, $190 being paid out in total of the $279.95. And if they were if they had designed this for salespeople, people with a sales mindset, they would pay the 190 on the front level and that would be the end of it. But that would never allow you to build a residual income, a special lifestyle. It would never incentivize somebody like me to teach and mentor and support. You see, it's big. It's important to understand that. See, if anyone knocks a network marketing model with me, I'll know it's because they were just introduced to some stupid thing that wasn't a good opportunity, but it's not because of the network marketing model itself. I understand the value of the network marketing model. I understand how it incentivizes mentorship. It incentivizes people educating others and lifting others up. But you won't have that same confidence and know how to deal with a situation like that if you don't understand these things that I'm covering. So looking at the referral bonus, so don't space out here just because you heard it before. Take in what I'm sharing with you within this new context, or even if this context that I'm sharing today isn't new, 
hold on to everything I just shared about the different mindsets and that we want to tap into the business system owner mindset to fully maximize this, that our in game goal, the whole point of me doing this is to make sure that you have 100% clarity and confidence on what exactly you need to do to make exactly what you want, maximizing this compensation plan and know exactly how you need to do it and, and exactly what you need to accomplish in your organization so that you can start putting a game plan together with the funnels that we have and the marketing options we have and start gauging what you're doing. And if it's not working, make adjustments so you have clarity on how to make what you want and how to maximize this. That's what the point of all this is. So hang on to all of that as I run through this. Okay, you refer three, who each refer three. Industry average is 2.7. Industry average in network marketing, including the crappy companies out there, which is the majority, is people refer 2.7. So three with a company like this is very, very reasonable. You refer three, who refer three down seven levels, and that would come to $87,570 uh, in the referral bonus. But Mike, it never turns out exactly that way. This is an illustration. We always tell people this is for illustration purposes. This isn't a guarantee that you refer three and you get $87,000. This is saying if this is produced, if we teach exponentialism, if we have the, listen carefully, if we have these kinds of conversations with our prospects, if we make sure that we're talking, that we're investing most of our time with people who have a business system mindset, maybe not when we met them, but the time we explained everything, and we're making sure that the people we're bringing in and working with have a business system mindset. Or if they don't, and they just wanna take advantage of the signals, and they wanna have their job, or they wanna be self-employed, or they wanna be a salesperson somewhere else, and they don't necessarily wanna build a distribution network and create an amazing lifestyle leveraging this compensation plan, we should know that. If you know that, then you won't be spending a lot of time, wasting a lot of time, or dreaming that they're gonna somehow do something. You're gonna keep looking for people who have a business system mindset, and you're gonna keep educating people in your organization. If you bring someone in who's self-employed, and they just want to come in for the signals and they start to do good on the signals. If you understand everything I'm sharing, you'll remind them you want to have another conversation again about how you can move into the business system mindset and leverage this thing and have a, an amazing lifestyle by helping us build a distribution network. Yeah, I think I'm ready for that conversation. Like Again, if you're in tune with what I'm sharing, you'll be able to lift people up from the employee, salesperson, or self-employed mindset and into the business system owner, owner mindset. But if you're not clear in all this, and if you don't realize that's your whole point, is to lift people up into that, that new realm of, of abundance, attraction, and creation, then you're not gonna have these conversations, or you only have it once, but you won't know how to trip it back or bring it back. So again, yes, it's usually not gonna go three by three by three by three, by three seven levels perfectly. It's gonna be like sometimes someone enrolls 15, someone, some of those enroll five, some of them seven, some of them 100, some none. But this shows through a, a clear illustration the three by three, or sorry, the three wide by three by three, seven levels down shows the power of exponentialism. That would grow to 87,000 just in the referral bonus. And now we go to the next slide so that we can really reinforce the power of exponentialism and the importance of teaching this and the importance of reiterating it and the importance of making sure that we've done everything we can to give someone the opportunity to tap into this and move out of employee or self-employed trading time for money and move out of self or sorry salesperson mindset and move into something liberating we're giving them the opportunity for that if you reinforce that message you'll start to tap into the power of exponentialism. Okay, so if you personally refer four and help them each refer four, just adding one more person, this shows the power of exponentialism, the power of what only a small percentage of people understand in this world, like the Jeff Bezos's and the Elon Musk's, the people who build, you know, the Ray Crocs, the people who build giant referral networks, they all understand this. Um, the thousands of people in network marketing who make a million a month understand this. There are a lot of them. Uh, add one more person, this referral bonus goes to 600,000. Remember here was 87, just add one more person, 600,000. Add another one, five people, and you're looking at 2.7 million. So if you refer five, and on average, they all refer five and refer five, five, seven levels because of the power of exponentialism, because of the power of the business system owner mindset of developing a distribution network, a network that 
sells products or services to a large organization just as if you had built your own Amazon, just as if you had built your own company. It wouldn't have to be nearly as big as Amazon. I just use that example because it's so big and it is a similar concept in terms of they market to a lot of people and Jeff Bezos and the early creators of that are compensated massively because they're leveraging that distribution network. The network marketing model, when the right ingredients are in place, again, allows you to tap into that same exponentialism the same delayed gratification, build, helping build the company, but without you having to develop the products, the services, manage the customer support, et cetera. It's a beautiful concept, but you're not going to understand it if you don't understand the business system owner mindset, and you're not going to believe in the power of exponentialism unless you really start to put two and two together and realize that's how all big companies do it. They tap into referrals. You know, I learned about Amazon because my sister told me about it. Uh, it, you know, they, they, they tap into every marketing poss possible, but they built this giant network that exponentiated in growth. How can the average ordinary person do that? Isn't it amazing that somebody that might consider themselves a loser today can decide to become a winner and by their own reckoning, their own decision, step into this model without the skills of Jeff Bezos, without 10, 20 years of skill development, and tap into the same thing by providing value to a company like Unify and partnering with Unify and tap into the same exponential power. I think it's beautiful. It's a beautiful model. Okay, now let's move to the matrix. That's the referral bonus. This is happening on top of that, in addition to that. So when people come in, they were paying the $279.95, and that's where the referral bonus was coming out of. Now we have the $79.95 subscription fee. And if anyone ever says to you, oh, that's a lot, well, then they don't understand the value of the mission of Unify, the value of the financial resource products, presently the signals. And if you look at the historic data, $79.95 is nothing compared. Even if you're trading with very little, you need to give it time. But it's going to compound if we look historically. And while there's no guarantees, we can see that they know what they're doing and they're, the education they're providing to teach people how to take control of their own money. Again, in your own words, in your own way, if you can just intimately get in touch with the value of what Unify is providing, you're going to be able to communicate this. And anyone that thinks that's a lot of money, you're going to go, that's ridiculous. You just don't understand what we provide. Um, and, and be able to overcome that or just let them go. I mean, it's just silly. Uh, also, the point you would want to make and that I would make is that $79.95, if it was any cheaper, then it would be ridiculous. It would be a scam. <laughs> it's just like, what? I, like, the company wouldn't be able to, the company wouldn't be able to generate enough to motivate people to be a part of the sales force. The economics wouldn't work. It's a brilliant number. It's a brilliant number. You wouldn't want it to be any lower because then you would make a lot less. Then it would take a, t a lot more people, a lot more exponential growth to make the same amount of money. And it just wouldn't make sense that the company would be able to provide a lot of value and still have enough money to incentivize the sales force and still have enough money to run the operation and, you know, and, and provide value to its customers. $79.95 is very cheap. Now, out of that subscription fee of $79.95, it's paying the matrix bonus. The matrix builds in a three by three. So here's you. And then when you bring in three, here they fall. Now, if somebody above you refers more than three, it could fill in one of your spots. Like you're working together as a team to fill these in. Now, I know you didn't all get spillover. Um, give it time and you might be surprised that you still will. Uh, but it is a beautiful idea. It's a beautiful model. Don't count on someone doing it for you. Just know that that's how it works. And so you know, here's showing that you have three. This is your first level. This is your first uh, level in the matrix, and then this is your second level in the matrix. And you're just filling this up, filling this up, and then it moves on to the next one. Okay, let's look at where this. This is where my mind is. Now, this isn't going to necessarily be where all of your minds are, but I'm looking at filling up a matrix at nine levels and getting 125,000 a month on my ninth level, 41,000 on my eighth, 13,000 on my seventh, 4,000 on my sixth, and so on and so forth, which what takes us to 125, 166, 167, 177. You know, so we're getting close to 200,000 a month. That's where my mind is. Now, will the matrix completely fill up three wide, three by three by three by three by three by three, by three all the way now nine levels? 
by the way, on October 1st, this goes to 12 levels. It's amazing. Will it fill up perfectly? Will there be holes? There will be holes. But there's other things happening. There's a referral bonus. After you sign up 10 people, you get a reentry position in the matrix, like another position that you can place in your matrix. Like if I you sign up 10 people, it's, it's, it's what this diagram's for. You sign up, wait, no, is it? Is that where it is? No, it's here. You know, you refer 10 people and you are in a free position. So you can place that and then start building under that position. Then you're getting paid on the same volume. You're getting paid on that position and the position above it. So I'm not even counting all of that. So the, yeah, there might be some holes in this. Yeah, there might be some gaps. There might be some people who don't duplicate. But I'll just come back and help fill in those gaps. That's why I say those who stick this out for the long run, you have an incredibly high chance because you're so close to the top of the company of getting spillover eventually. But don't wait for that. Like that's just part of how the matrix works. And just understand that for me, I've made seven figures many, many years in a row. So that's where my mind is. It's natural for me. It's like not a big deal to me. So my mind expands there. You can all choose that or you can start with something smaller that you feel more comfortable with because you do have to believe what you're going to achieve in order to find yourself taking the action to do it. For me, seven figures is very reasonable. For you, you might start with, well, you know, I'll make 10,000 a month and then I'll expand from there. I'll make 5,000 a month and I'll expand from there. What I want you to do is understand the compensation plan, understand the mindset that you need, understand that you have a responsibility to your prospects, uh, to, your, <clears throat> to your list. You, if, you, if, you, if you take that responsibility to communicate these things in your own way and, and to ask questions, to identify where do they fall and to help empower them, it's going to happen so much faster. And again, ultimately, I want you to understand all of this well enough to be able to choose how much you're going to earn and know exactly what you have to do to maximize the compensation plan and how you're going to do it with the options that we're giving you uh, to be able to accomplish whatever goal you set your mind to. For, for me, um, I look at all of this and I want 100 grand a month. Even though if you were to fill up a le uh, the nine levels, you know, you'd be way over 200,000 a month if you count this, your reentry positions, your referral bonus. But I just look at this and I go, okay, ninth level filled up is 125892 a month. Now, there's going to be a lot of holes in there um, that I won't get all filled up, but I won't have to because I also have some reentry positions. I have my referral bonus, and there's also these other levels I'm getting paid on. So I just feel like if I just fill up my matrix pretty good, I don't have to fill it up all the way at all, I'll get to hundred grand a month. So I'm just kind of looking at this. I'm looking at holes in my matrix. I'm looking at supporting people and building those. I'm looking at through their contacts and their contacts and their referrals, looking for leaders that I can put in there that just go like I do. Um, and that helps everybody else. That's why I've been calling a lot of you that I work with directly to help work with your leader or your contacts. Maybe you don't know what to say or what to write. Somebody you know who's really big in network marketing. Maybe you know some people approach you network marketing before. I've been working with you guys, and I'm going to keep calling those of you I haven't talked to yet to do that. That's how I'm filling in the gaps and the holes, and I'm supporting everybody. And again, I'll even come in when I get my advertising going again. I haven't been able to bring in new people because I brought in so many, but I will, and then I'll be filling in the gaps. Like I'm just going to keep it until I fill it up, until I get to 100000 a month. It's just a no-brainer for me. I know the compensation plan. Uh, and I know in my mind exactly what I need to do to get my seven figures. I want you to know the compensation plan well enough to know exactly what you have to do and what you're going to do to get what you want out of it. That's the point of all of this. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> so that's the matrix. Here's the matrix bonus. Here's where the big money is. See, I don't even count this because I think to myself, I just want to maximize the matrix to get to 100,000 a month. And I say to myself, if I focus on that, the referral bonus is gonna happen on top of it. Of course, there's some reentry positions that are gonna get paid like double matrix that happen on top of it, but I don't even have to think about that. I just focus on what I just showed you, really those nine levels, filling it up, filling it up, filling it up. And I know I don't even have to fill it all the way up to get to 100,000 a month. And then I think that on top of that, I have the matrix bonus. And this incentivizes me to work with you guys down many levels deep. And not just you listening to this, but the person that you refer, who you refer, who, who they refer, who they refer. That, that, that allow, this allows me to work with them without concern. Now, um, the reentry positions and some other things give me an even greater incentive to work in certain areas first. But ultimately, in the end, you know, I can support everybody in my organization 
because of this. And the, uh, the matrix, sorry, the, because not this, but the, the matching bonus, the matrix matching bonus. Sorry, I hope I didn't confuse you there. The we're talking about the matrix matching bonus now. This is on top of the matrix. This is where the big money is. So if I get to 100 grand a month, or I should say win, with the uh, matrix bonus, there's going to be a whole nother layer of huge bonus on top of it with this. I want you to understand this because those of you who do have the really big goals, you have an opportunity to seize it right here, right now, because of this compensation plan and where this company's at, its mission statement, the quality people they're attracting, and quite frankly, because you have leaders in your upline uh, who will work with you directly to help you maximize this. The funnels, everything we're doing, like it's all here and it's real, like it's not BS <laughs> hyped up content. Okay, so this works this way. Uh, first you get to exec, this is happening anyway, just happening anyway, there's executive level, 250, or sorry, 25,000 PGV a month. So when someone, any level down, anywhere, if somebody in your organization that you referred, and then who they referred, who they referred, it doesn't matter, uh, comes into Unify at $279.95, that $279.95 counts towards your total PGV that month. Um, the $79.95 that everyone's paying with their subscription, that counts. Now I have well over 25,000 PGV right now totally, and so I'm at the executive level. This allows you to get 5% matching bonus. Again, when you have 25,000 total PGV a month in your whole organization, this allows, even if there are many levels deep, this allows you to get a 5% matching bonus on everybody's matrix in your Gen 1. So everybody you referred, whatever, whatever they're making in the matrix, you'll get 5%. And then Gen 2 is who they referred. You'll get 5% on all of them. What they make in their matrix, you'll get 5%. And that gets a little bit of more growth, right, because it's your second level. So this executive may not be huge money, but it gets the thing started. This is on top of the other ones. As we move to vice president, it starts to get a little bit bigger. 150,000 PGV per month. And I'm not there yet. That's my next goal. This will allow you to get 10% matching bonus on whatever your front level gets in their matrix. So if you have somebody who gets 10,000 a month in the matrix, another person gets 1,000, another person gets 50, another person gets seven, Everyone on your front level, you'll get 10% whatever they got in their matrix. Everyone on your second level, which is going to be more people because of exponential growth, you're going to get 5% matching bonus on all of their matrices. And then the big one will be generation three. Everyone on your third level, which is where your greatest number, number of people will likely be, all the little matrix commissions and all the big matrix positions, all of them, you're going to get 5% of all of that. This will add up to be quite a bit. Again, this is on top of the other compensation plan. And quite frankly, I would have been motivated to build this business even without this. So this is extraordinarily amazing and just shows where they're at. They want to they want to share like in the, their success. Like it's it's really quite impressive because we're here early and they want to give us all the opportunity to help build the company to to do extraordinarily well, just as if you were Elon Musk who got his start with PayPal and had contributed to creating PayPal, he got shares and was able to leverage that and make huge, a huge fortune that allowed him to go pursue his dream with building rockets with SpaceX and building electric cars with Tesla. Uh, same thing, this company's just launching. We're all a part of the early development. If we contribute to helping build a large distribution network, we can do extraordinarily well. You all have that opportunity still. President, 500,000 total PG a month in your organization. 15% on all your Gen 1 matching bonus of their matrix, 10% of your Gen 2 matching what they all make, even if they only made 75 cents, they made $10, they made $100, all everybody, 10% across the board, third generation, 5% matching bonus, and fourth generation where there'll be a lot of people, 5% matching bonus. Uh, that is gonna add up. Then ambassador, I mean, this is where I'm, you know, this is where my mind is. How do I get to a million PGV a month as fast as I can? Well, I do that by calling all of my front level people, which I've been doing, and I've met with many of you, finding out what your goals are. Where's your mindset at? Are you leaning towards a, a salesperson mindset where you expect to get more money for your sales right away? 
some network marketing companies and affiliate programs do that. Is that where your mindset's at? Is your mindset more of an employee mindset where you need to make money when you put time into something? Is your mind more self-employed? You're willing to put a little investment up front, but pretty quickly you need to see return coming in. Or is your mindset already at, or can I help you see the value of build a distribution network, a business system, work with me, partner with me, let's get it figured out, let's do it, we're with the right company, we're in the right industry at the right time, we're providing a solution to a major problem that people have, whereas they're not in control of growing and protecting their money, they're not able to take advantage, are you willing to build long-term relationships, upline and downline, figure out funnels, how to do videos, are you willing to build a team with me to build a huge network? If yes, then I'm gonna help you uh, build volume, because all of the volume in my organization, other than what's on my front level, because most of it's going to be on my second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, fifth, you know, fifteenth, twenty-fifth level is going to be where most of my million-dollar PGV comes from. Fortieth level is where most of this volume is going to come from. It's going to be under you guys. So I'm calling everybody, finding out where's your mindset. You know, what are you willing to do? What are you willing to contribute? So I can decide who I'm going to focus on putting that volume under, basically, by working with you, by working with your leads and working with their contacts and working with their leads and working with their contacts and so on and so forth. I'm going to get to a million PGV a month in this company. And then it's 20%. When If you decided to do that, I mean, you'll, you'll be a millionaire. If you decide to do that, you'll get 20% matching bonus on everyone's matrix in your Gen 1. You'll get 10% matching bonus on everyone in Gen 2. You'll get 5% matching bonus on Gen 3. 5% matching bonus on a lot of people would be in Gen 4 because of the exponential growth. And then Gen 5, 5% again, matching bonus on everyone in Gen 5, which would be a huge number of people. That's 5% of, of a huge number. You know, it would be hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands and thousands of people. And if you're at a million PGV, it's probably thousands and thousands of people. 5% of all of their matrices will add up to a huge amount of money. So when I'm talking about and coming back to me so you have a clarity on how I'm approaching deciding what I'm going to earn, leveraging this compensation plan and the business system owner mindset of delayed gratification and mentoring people in my organization, and solving problems like the funnels and stuff, and then empowering other people in my organization with that, all the amazing things that the network marketing model, when the right ingredients are in place, allow us to do that no other model does in terms of empowering people. When I'm doing all those things, I'm looking at empowering people so that I can maximize the compensation plan by lifting other people up, by helping them accomplish their goals so that I get to $100,000 a month. And when I really, just to keep it simple in my mind, come all the way back to the simple matrix bonus, I'm going to focus on my matrix nine levels deep to get to 100000 a month. I know that it's going to go way past nine levels. I know it's going to go to 20, 30, 40 levels. And I know that I won't get paid on anything. It's gonna. This is gonna go to 12 levels in October. I know that I won't get paid on anything in the matrix past the 12th level. On that, but I'll get paid it on. You know, I'm benefiting from it here because all of that volume is gonna help me qualify for the matrix matching bonus. But I don't even. I, I don't even care about that. I'm just gonna focus. This is how I'm doing. How I'm making my decisions of how I'm gonna get to seven figures. Again, you don't have to want to get to seven figures. I just want you to understand the compensation plan, understand the business system ownership mindset and the mindset of developing a huge distribution network by partnering with Unify. They're, to, they're providing the website, the order processing, the customer so, support, the, the problem solving, everything in an ingenious way in and in a timely industry. They're moving on to other, like the money markets and outside of crypto to give us a solid base and reach an even larger market. They're providing all of that. All we have to do is help them develop the distribution network. I want you to understand that and understand the compensation plan well enough so that you can decide how you're going to maximize this and what you're going to make. For me, it's seven figures. And while I know all these different compensation structures are working synergistically to together, I'm just focusing on this one. It's getting hot in here. I'm getting excited. All right, so what I'm saying is you don't need to want to make seven figures to, to take what I'm giving you here and do extraordinarily well. Uh, you did, But you do need to understand these concepts and the compensation well enough to have 100% clarity on how you're going to maximize it. For me, it's seven figures looking at this comp plan, knowing that the other ones are going to kick in and probably help me go much further than that, 
or at the very least the other ones are going to kick in and fill in any gaps. I won't need to fill this up to get to seven figures, not even close. But it's my goal. I focus on one goal that I know will get me there. Does this make sense? I don't need to know exactly how it's all going to play out. A business owner never knows exactly who their distribution partners and everything's going to be a year, two years from now. But they know enough to make it happen. That's the key. I want you to know enough to have complete control over making how much you want to make happen. So maybe listen to this a few times, ask me questions on, 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 on webinars, whatever you got to do to understand well enough to explain and, and to understand well enough to ask questions to your prospects, to identify and help them with these things, to identify what mindset they have, what their goals are, and to help them be able to figure this out in a quantitative way, in your own way, in your own personality. If it even takes you eight months to be able to do what I just said, that's okay. You will forever change your life by moving into a new paradigm of thinking, a new paradigm of who you get to network with, a new paradigm of who you get to attract, a new paradigm of the value provided in the marketplace by lifting people up into a, the ability to be able to manifest abundance. Because you can only manifest abundance when you understand these concepts well enough to put them into practice and to be able to mentor people and inspire people. And each of you can do that no matter who you are. But you have to understand these concepts well enough to ask good questions to prospects even if it takes you eight months to get there that's what i'm challenging you to do don't wait to take action for that don't wait to take action for that you're taking action while you're practicing that that's the key okay so my qu final question to you is and maybe write it down how much do you want to make to be able to change your life how much do you want to make per month Walk away income if you chose to. I probably won't walk away at this point, but what I do will change. I'll be flying around meeting you know, people I love hanging out with and helping them build their business. Uh, so, you know, but it would be massive freedom and just, just bliss, really. <laughs> uh, you know, to not have the responsibility to run a customer support department, all the things that I had to do before to maintain a seven-figure income. I'll be free of that. It'll be a very lighthearted enjoyable process kind of like you see Richard Branson right he's just like so light such a light load how much do you need for a life-changing result is it 10,000 a month is it 5,000 a month do you want to retire your spouse early do you want to just have more security and freedom do you want to have more freedom to fly around do you also envision meeting some of your favorite people that have developed in your organization throughout the world, meeting me in you know, Bangkok, Thailand at an event, meeting me in London, meeting and having great time together and, and having that be our work, um, all tax write-off, empowering others. Like, What is your vision for success and how much do you need to be able to do it and then come back to this compensation plan and start to figure out, you don't have to have it all figured out before you take action because you can see like a lot of magic will happen if you just keep taking action. But ultimately you want to arrive at understanding it so well that you decide, okay, if I focus on my matrix and I focus on filling up my matrix and I get down to the seventh level, we're looking at like 14,000 a month here. Obviously, it's going to grow past that, so I'll get even more. But why don't we just focus on this 14,000 a month? Or you might say, hey, if I fill up the six levels, I'll just go get my three and I'll work with them. And, and maybe you haven't signed up anybody yet, but you're going to continue. You just decide, this is what I'm going to do. Like you can't get there until you decide that. And you need to be able to articulate these things if you want it to happen fast. And you should start making videos and doing the things that I shared with you if you want it to happen fast. But you need to decide that you're going to make X. Let's say it's 5000 a month by building down the six levels. Now, you're still going to be making this on top of it. You're going to be making all kinds of things on top of it. You're going to be making level, past level six. But let's just say for you, it's I'm going to make five grand. And I know I'll make more if I make that happen. But that's something I can focus in on and, and just zoom in on and make happen. Whatever it is, I want you to decide how much you're going to make. I want you to focus in on a part of this compensation plan. Just focus on developing that. Be able to articulate that to me. Contact your other upline. You've got amazing leaders in this company, Shane Carling, Aaron Ellis. Proclaim to them what you're going to do. Proclaim to them how you're going about it now. Ask for feedback on what you might be able to do to expand that. Network up and network down. Empower your team to watch videos like this. And keep following what we're doing to generate leads, build relationships with that lead, uh, and uh, and build your team. Guys, that, that's it. Uh, I hope this is helpful. I hope you follow through on what I just suggested. It will change your life if you do. It's all right here, right now. Seize it.